Hello, welcome to our podcast number three, which is presented to you by Veneering. Today I'm going to show you our new features that we integrate into the SRM user interface add-on, also called SRM UI5. One of the main features that we are delivering for that solution is the integration of the search engine Apache Solar. We have decided not to use the SAP T-Rex because we very strongly believe that Apache Solar is the most famous and very popular search engine across many, many web shops and websites in the internet. By entering this website, we can see already the first effect by clicking here on the category on the left selection. So this is a real-time search which is coming from the search engine and is telling us what are the main leading categories our catalog items are assigned to. So it's not a pure fixed configuration, but it's coming from the catalog already. A next feature that we have developed at Veneering is here a kind of auto-suggest functionality. So again, this auto-suggest is a request which is going in real time to the search engine and will give you the proposals for the queries that you are specifying. Now let's search for a smartphone and what you can see already here in this place, smartphone, I have a spelling error. So we have very brilliant, good fuzzy logic that is working here. And actually my smartphone is ranked by the priorities on the left hand side. You can see here the filters and now I can start searching for filters and I will get only very specific items which belong to these filters. Okay, now one of the features that also is delivered by Apache Solar and where we have a very easy and simple configuration is the kind of boosting logic. Boosting, it means that we can boost for very specific features which are in the catalog. So we can boost for core articles. We can boost for very specific suppliers. If you as a customer would like to present to your end users a very specific supplier pushing the supplier's item or you would like to push for a very specific smartphone which is not BlackBerry but by entering smartphone it has to be an HTC or an iPhone then you can simply boost for these specific values. Okay now let's have a look into a specific item or for the catalog item details so I'm clicking this BlackBerry and I will see here my item which is displayed here I have a well formatted long text which is also supporting line feeding and even other formatting uh, HTML formatting if this is necessary here on the bottom I can see the more SAP specific article details like office supplier manufacturer part number etc I have also a very quick access to all the items so I can very quickly step through the items which are in my search result list and finally I'm deciding okay I'm buying now five of these items so I'm adding this to the cart. Let's say I'm doing now a um, service delivery to my users so actually it's a hardware and lab delivery of, of laptops and um, also the installation of this. So BlackBerry is one of the parts that I'm going to order but now for my users I have also users that are expecting here to receive a laptop so I'm searching for a laptop and here we go here you get the laptop so I'm choosing here go to catalog and what the system is doing it's opening in frame our solution that we call dynamic web forms and here I can specify this type of laptop that I'm going to buy so let's say keyboard I'm choosing for this one I have also extra RAM that I'm selecting for users and I'm saying okay out of these laptops I need three of them because I'm going to install three laptops um, as a basis administrator so I'm confirming this now these three laptops are also transferred here into my basket now I have to enter the installation service and installation service I know it's in my catalog also here we are saying that IT service is also a part of a configuration of that catalog so here I can go and I can choose uh, this IT service and I click go to catalog and now I have to specify my service the project that I'm going to do here with this service delivery is the hardware 
delivery to my users. Uh, the requester, I keep it now simple and call him just employee. And I can start adding a subtask. So by adding a subtask, the first subtask I have to do is software installation. The next thing I have to do is I have to do add another task. You can see it's building up now on the left hand side. Now I have to add another subtask that I will call delivery of laptop to the user and I have now to enter here recipients who will be receiving this laptop and let me quickly search for my users so Tom Jones will be the first one who will get laptop and I have to say okay he will get it in this building and that room number now let me add another user who will receive this laptop so here I'm saying it's now um, John Miles who will get this one again delivery in building he will sit at plant 66 there is no room specification for this one and the next laptop whose name is now Frank Schmidt and here we go now I also have ordered my mobile phones and there are other users who are waiting for the mobile phones so I can say okay so in my project of delivering uh, I'm adding another subtask that is now uh, the delivery delivery of my Blackberry and this Blackberry it will go now to uh, five recipients but I'm handing it over only to one guy who is now called Andreas Bittner and that's it and here again I know that this person is sitting in that room in that building yeah that's all now you can see I can navigate through the entire service that I have specified and you can use you can, you can use this type of service declaration in our software component dynamic web forms for different type of services you can use it for construction services for IT services uh, for catering services so we have many examples where these type of service requirement makes sense and can be used and there are different ways of web forms that you can build so finally I have completed this one and I will transfer this now to the basket and now my basket is ready and can be ordered so I'm pressing just order the card and this card is going now into the SAP system it goes for approval and it will have also the purchase order created that's for the podcast thank you for watching and we'll see you next time thank you